Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, we're exploring the streets of Paris again. This time, it's Rue de l'Annonciation. L'Annonciation. I don't know how to pronounce that, but we'll work it out later. You know what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. So why don't you come and join me on Travelling Fabulously. Today on Travelling Fabulously, we're exploring one of the many great streets in Paris. So come, let's explore the streets of Paris. Rue de l'Annonciation. 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 There you go. Pretty sure that's right. It might not look much behind me, but it certainly is a grower. We love a grower, not a shower. Hmm. The street got its name because it leads to the Church of Passy, which is under the name of the Annunciation of the Virgin, apparently. It was formed in 1856. The nearest and best metro to get here is La Muette, which is on line number nine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the name of this street wrong the whole way through this video. So first, let's go home, have a quick listen on the pronunciation of Rue de l'Annonciation. L'Annonciation. I can't believe we just went through 10 minutes of that. Okay, and go. you hadn't pressed the record button. Go. Anyway, how do you say Rue de l'Annonciation? Rue de l'Annonciation. 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 Yes, but put it close together. Rue de, Rue de l'Annonciation. Rue de l'Annonciation. Rue de l'Annonciation is loved by locals because it's a pedestrian access to great shops and places to sit back and watch the world go by. Like many great streets in Paris, it's also close to some of the best foodie hotspots and historical places. So you get food and history all in one. There's great food like fruit and veg from Gosselin, Boucherie Roger Bilbault has an amazing array of meats on offer and a fabulous rotisserie section out the front to pick up something pre-cooked for your dinner later in that evening. Or à la ferme de Passy, it's an artisan fromagerie. You can get a crepe from Chez Yannick, caviar from Caviar Lachon, or just sit back and watch the world go by at Aero Bistro, which also sells earthen on ice cream. So you don't have to go all the way to the fourth to get some. The street is bookend, so to speak, by two Wallace fountains. Richard Wallace was an Englishman who financed the construction of these cast iron fountains in 1872. One of my French neighbours the other day told me that they used to be where ladies of the night would stand to pick up customers back in the olden days. Now, we just fill up our water bottles here. In 1666, Claude Chahou, the Lord of Passy at the time, built at his own expense the first chapel on the site here at Rue de la Nation. It cost him 19,800 francs at the time, so not cheap. After he died, his widow then built further add-ons to the chapel, like a presbytery and a school. Since then, it has been continually added to over time by many very well-off parishioners and benefactors. It fell into decay but was renovated in the mid-1990s. Just around the corner from the Church de Passy is Nouveau Tendance, which is an intriguing art restoration place. Inside, they were working on a super-sized Spider-Man and some other installations when I was there. But in the window, they have pictures of lost artwork that was found within the walls of Oscar de la Renta's apartment, apparently. They worked on this artwork to restore it. If you'd like to explore more of Paris with me, you can. Check out my website for the details on my itinerary of services. I can help you plan a fabulous holiday in France, or you can actually do a private walking tour with me of the Marais, the passageways, streets of Paris, or even Versailles. So come join me traveling fabulously in Paris. Omilo de Fred also has a store here. So you can pick up a delicious light meringue sweet treat and then watch them being made whilst you're on your sugar rush.
You can shop here at an unusual place for Paris, a shopping mall, Passy Plaza, where they even have a free book libre section for you to get a book in French and practice. Cezanne has a store here. This goes with this, goes with this, goes with that. It's Cezanne. Mm, possibly not the same place. Speaking of shopping and food, on the way to the Rue de l'Ancien, make sure you check out the wonderful Le Grand Épicerie de Paris. Le Grand Épicerie de Paris is four floors of delicious food and groceries for Parisians and visitors alike. You can buy the best of France to products from all around the world. You might even find the odd bit of Vegemite or something like that there. Not that I'd buy a Vegemite, but anyway, that's another story. Just across the road from Rue de l'Anciation is Marche de Passy. Let's go check it out. No Paris street would be complete without a market, and Rue de l'Anciation has the Marche de Passy at one end of it, which is filled with great fruit and veg, fromage, meats, and of course, fantastic seafood. You can even stop by and have oysters and wine at the bar. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Streets in Paris, Rue de l'Annonciation. If you liked it, press the like button. Send me around with your friends. I love to be shared around. And remember, what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. With me. I'm travelling fabulously, of course. <laughs>